Hey guys, welcome back to How to Build a Blog with Laravel. I'm your host, J.A. Curtis, and you can call me Alex. This video is part number 20 of our How to Build a Blog series. We've done 20 lessons up to this point. So we've gone into some really good depth, um, detail and depth. We finished up the crud for our posts, and now it's time to add a few features before we move on to authentication. So um, one of the features I wanna add, which this video is focused around, is pagination. The pagination are the fancy links at the bottom of a, a list of data that says next page, previous page, you know, and has uh, links to all the different pages if you want to skip to a certain page. That's what we're going to work on in this video so that we can kind of navigate our long list of posts that we might have one day uh, more simply. So that's what this video is about. I'll see you after the break. All right, guys, well, you guys are doing awesome. We have made it really far in this tutorial series. Um, once again, this video, this video right now, part 20, is all about pagination. Hopefully, you've had a chance to watch my channel update. I posted it um, a little bit ago, um, if you're watching these live, but it should already be up on my channel. I'll have a link to it down in the description, or I'll try to put an annotation here on the page. And um, if you wanna go back and watch that, that video talked about kind of my goals from now until the end of this series. How many videos there's gonna be, what order we're gonna do them in, what type of lessons we're gonna we're still planning on doing, and which ones we're maybe leaving for more advanced tutorials. So I kinda of talk about all of that, the timeline, and also which videos and what orders and all that. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and watch that video and I talk about it um, quite a bit. Now it's time to dive into pagination. So pagination, for those of you guys that don't know, are the links at the bottom of web pages. So um, when you have a long list of data and you're showing lots and lots of stuff on the screen, you might have hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of items in your database. And when someone wants to look at all of them, it's not practical to load 10,000 things onto a single page. So what you do is you break it up into different pages, okay? So you might have 20 items on a page and then buttons at the bottom where they or at the top where they can go to a previous page, um, or the next page, they could skip to a certain page and so forth. So that's what we're working on in this video. We're gonna do some simple pagination um, with our posts index where we showed all of our posts so that as we add more and more posts, we're not um, you know, birdie, burdening down the database by loading every single blog post, you know, and truncating every single body of, blog, of every blog post and stuff like that, converting the time, the date stamps, you know, for every single blog post. Like once you get hundreds of blog posts, it could really bog down your system. So it's good to just kind of keep it to maybe 15 or 20 blog posts at a time, 10, 15, 20, something like that. Um, just makes it really responsive and quick and easier to navigate for the user. Um, so let's go ahead and let's get started on that. All right, so you can see here that I've actually got, um, this is basically where we're at right now where we left off in the last video. We've got all of our posts here currently. If we go to you know our website slash posts, make sure your server's running, your PHP artist and serve. Um, and we just go to the slash post page and you can see that we have a whole bunch of posts. Now, between videos, I went through and made a bunch of posts just so we have more of them just to work with because with pagination, in order to see the effects of it, you wanna have you know obviously more pages so we can see the effects of it. Um, you may wanna do the same thing and if you don't, um, it's okay because as you naturally add more pages, that pagination is gonna start taking effect once you go over that limit, okay? Now, the goal of this obviously is to have some links down here at the bottom where we can um, we can navigate to different pages, and then we also want to limit the sheer number of these posts to maybe 10 per page, five per page, 10 per page. I think 10 is probably practical um, for real world use, um, you know, as or, or, and so forth. So, um, how does this work? Well, let's talk about the non Laravel way that this works first of all, so you kind of see where we're coming from, and then we'll talk about how Laravel makes it really, really easy. Now the normal way that you would do this is um, you would generally add some queries into your links. So when you have, you would create you know, a link down here that says next, and then when you click next, you would basically take it to the same post URL, but you would change some of the get variables. For those of you guys that know, you guys should hopefully know this already, um, that you can actually add, once you put a question mark in your, um, your URL, you can actually add variables into the URL itself. 
So a common one that you'll see on a lot of web pages is things like this, where you'll see page equals one, two, a hundred, whatever. And um, this basically tells um, Laravel that you still want the same page, obviously. So go and go to this uh, post index page in the controller. However, we're gonna be working with this, this data here. We wanna create a variable called page and we want to set it equal to one. And we need to work with that in the controller so we show the appropriate page to the user. So what we would do when we had this page equals one is we would still li we would just limit this to um, say 10, 10 items on this page. Um, you can also sometimes customize in, on some web pages, you would also maybe set up another variable that says like items and maybe sets it to 10. Um, or maybe let's say it's five, right? So then you, the Laravel would take this or the, your framework would take this and say, okay, I, I, in this case, because it's a variable set to five, I only wanna you know, show five items per page um, and this is gonna be the first page, so it knows that. You know, Then you would link to your next page, you need to do page two and it knows, okay, well I need to show five items, but this time I need to skip the first five items and show the second five items because we're on page number two. You know, and as you go up to page three, you would now skip 10 items. Oops. You would now skip 10 items um, on page number three and um, show the next five items and so forth. So you guys get the idea, that's basically how it would work. And the way this would work in practice, if I come over to SQL or to um, Sublime here and we wrote some SQL, let's create a new item real quick file new, you would generally, if you guys are used to writing raw SQL, you would do things like select star from uh, posts. This is your post table. Um, and you would say something like limit five offset um, 10, right? And this would give you the third page because the first page had five items, the second page had five items. And now you want to show five items. That's why you're limiting the result to five, but you want to offset it by the first by 10 items because you've already shown those because this is page three. So you would do all this math on the fly. This is kind of the old school way of doing it, okay? Or not even the old school, it's still the current way of doing it, but if you didn't have the handy helpers that Laravel has, this is basically how we would work with pagination. Of course, then you would also need to grab the count from the database so you could calculate, you know, how many numbers of pages to put like here at the bottom we would have like page one two three four five and you would basically stop that at the maximum page and so forth you need to count the database then to see how many total items are in the database again do some math to figure out that and then render that on the screen it can get kind of complex i mean at a core the basic level of it it's very basic math there's 10 items a page you know you just on page 10 then that means you skip 90 items if that makes sense so the math itself is very simple but um writing that logic into the into the controllers can sometimes be complex or at least you know it's just a lot of work if, if anything and so laravel makes it really easy it's got an awesome method called paginate which means basically just paginate this page and we only need we only need to pass in one item which is how many items per page to paginate and Laravel handles the rest. We don't need to do anything and that's what we're gonna work with here. Instead of writing this from scratch, we're gonna use Laravel's helper methods. So let's come on over, we can get rid of this because we don't need this. We're not writing raw SQL. We use Laravel's eloquent ORM to handle our SQL. And you can see here that we're at our pub, I'm in our um, controller, our post controller. So you go under app, HTTP, controllers, post controller. And inside the post controller, we've got our index page. And this currently pulls all the posts from the database. So as you can see here, it pulls, pulls item ID one through 20, or however many there are. If I keep adding more, they would all be on this page. Now we wanna limit this, um, and let's just limit it to five to start with. Um, now the way that we would limit this and we, is instead of using all, we would just give it a method called paginate. And then we would pass in however many items we want on the page, which is five. Let's go ahead and save this and just come on over to our website. Um, I, let's go ahead and just remove all these variables up here because they might me they're gonna mess with Laravel because Laravel is gonna try to interpret them. So let's just go to our slash posts and what we would expect here is exactly what we got. We only got five pages. You can see here that we got, you know, one, two, three, four, and then eight. Remember in the last video, we deleted um, number five, six, and seven. So that's why we're getting number one, one, two, three, four, and eight, okay? So we're getting five posts. So it's that easy to paginate in Laravel. We can just go into our controller and instead of calling all, we just call paginate and then pass in however many, however many items we want on there. So let's try 10 
save, refresh, and sure enough, now we get 10 items in our database. It's working really, really good, right? So now you can see that this is really, really awesome, really easy. Now let's go ahead and let's do um, an app, let's do uh, page equals two to get to the second page. Sure enough, we, we ended that first one at 13, and this shows us 14 through the end of the articles. So you can see how Laravel's already handling the pagination for us. It's really, really easy, guys. Um, that's how that's one of the really nice things about working with Laravel instead of you know something you doing something more complicated. So that's page number two. Um, now the only problem is we don't want people manually typing in this page equals two or any of that business, right? We want to obviously have a user interface down here that um, people could navigate and see that there's more items in the database and so forth. So what what we do is let's just come on over to our Sublime, and in our Sublime. In our Sublime, what we want is um, we're going to actually come over to our in to our view because the view is where we would render the user interface for that, right? So let's come on over to resources, views, and then posts and index. That's the in, that's the page that we would get, and you can see that all of these obviously work. But because we had called paginate, we have access to a few other special methods that only come with pagination helpers. One of those is just called links, which means to generate the links for our pagination. So let's go ahead and just generate those links. This is um, the next and previous buttons and all the pages. Um, let's generate that right outside of our table. So we've got our table here, and let's just create a new line underneath that table. Let's create a div for it, and give that div a class of text center. And this is just gonna center it on the page so that it's, um, it's in the middle of the screen. And then inside of that, we can do some blade. And it, with blade, we wanna do our curly brace, bang, bang. Okay, we need to do curly brace, bang, bang, so that it doesn't escape these, um, the URLs and stuff, the links that are in here. Otherwise, it'll escape it and it's not gonna work. So you gotta do curly brace, bang, bang. And, um, and then you're just gonna call your object, which is called posts in this case, and we tell it to generate links, just like that. All right, so links, we're calling the links method on our um, object here, and just go ahead and save that, and now come over to our project and refresh, and you can see down here at the bottom that we got our, um, we can have two pages, we could skip to whatever page we have, and we also have before and previous and next, and you can see that we're, since we're on the last page, we can't go to previous, and if we're on the, pre, the first page, we can't go to that, it's all you know crossed out here. So there we go, guys. That's all it really takes to do pagination in Laravel. It's really, really easy to do. Um, and uh, like I said, that's really all there is to it. And you can see that as we click these links, Laravel's automatically handling the pages um, and the URLs in here. Let's go ahead and just come back here real fast, go over to our controller, and I'm just gonna you know, go down to five. This will create, or let's just do like two. Save that, refresh. And you can see that it does only two items per page, and you can see that it goes out and shows all of the pages, okay? So, pretty cool stuff. The last thing I wanna show you before we go is basically how to reorder these posts. Now, why would we wanna reorder these posts? Well, let's just come back here real quick and just go back to 10, because 10 per items per page is kinda of normal. We'll save, come back here, and um, let's just go to the first page. Okay, so why would we want to change the order of these blog posts? Well, if you think about it, when you're working with a blog, you're generally thinking about doing the first um, handful of pages. You wanna do the most recent posts, or usually the ones you're working with the most often, right? So I wanna hand my first, you know, my the most recent two, three, four, five posts that I created are the ones I'm gonna be editing and you know viewing comments for and stuff like that. And so, um, that's what we're gonna be working on here is we're going to, we wanna kind of reverse the order because by default, this is showing us the, the first item first, right? So these are the oldest items because they're the first ones put in the database are the first ones showing up, which means that if I want, since I'm constantly looking at the most recent pages, the most recent posts, that means I've always gotta to go to the second page to see, the, or the last page, as you get more and more pages, it's more of a pain just to see the most recent post and it's way down here at the bottom. Okay, so how can we reverse that order and show the newest pages first? That's what we wanna be doing. So let's come back over to Sublime 
And let's do the exact same thing here, but we're gonna actually add a, um, an order by class um, before pagination, okay? So we're gonna just push pagination off to the side and we're gonna tell it to order by, okay? And when we do order by, it takes two parameters. The first parameter is what you want to order by, which in this case, you could do date and we could order the dates in descending order, um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it by the ID number because the ID number, um, the newest post will always be um, the ID, the latest ID number, right? So the biggest ID number will will be the most recent post that was created, okay? So you could do it by created at date, you could do it by ID number. Just for simplicity, I'm gonna do it by ID number. And the reason I wanna do it by ID number is because it's gonna be faster on the database. It's a, it's a smaller integer and it's an indexed column. We're gonna talk about indexed columns when we get to the slugs. So in three or four videos, um, we'll be working on the slugs for our um, posts. We'll talk more about what indexed means, but just so you know that the, the web, the database is faster when you're running queries and ordering or um, searching on an indexed column. and Created at is not an indexed column, but um, the in, the ID is an indexed column. So it's a little faster to use the ID. So we're just gonna do ID column. And then we tell it if we wanna do ascending order or descending order, right? So we could do ascending order or descending order, okay? And you're gonna do it by these acronyms here. So DESC -E is just, that's the SQL way, that in, in SQL language, that's what you do for descending. So you just kinda have to know that. So we're gonna do in descending order, and descending order means the would mean um, the reverse order basically of what it would normally do. So by normal, we show the, the first item first, and the second item second, and so forth. Descending order means you show the last item first, the second item, you know, the second to last item second, and so forth. So that's it, descending order. And then we just call another method on this with our arrow, paginate. So what pag this is saying, call paginate on the result of this query, okay? Or just tax it on to the end of that query. So it's adding that limit onto this query. So we're gonna grab all the posts, we're gonna order them. By not putting a where clause in here, it automatically just grabs all of the posts. So um, we're grabbing any post, ordering it by the ID in descending order. This should give us the oldest, the newest post first. And then we just wanna limit it to 10 and paginate if needed. So if we're on a, a different page than the first page, we just wanna go to that page and offset it as needed. So that's what we're doing. With this one line of code, there's tons of logic being added to our, um, to our uh, SQL query. Let's go ahead and save this, come back over to our project and refresh. And sure enough, we're getting the new this number 20, we're on page number one, and we're getting this um, number 21st. And as you come down and we go to our next page, you can see it goes, all the way back to our first item, okay? So that basically sums up this video. That's basically it for pagination. If you wanna learn more about pagination, there is a document for um, in the Laravel documentation. That there's a whole page that talks about pagination. And there's also something called simple pagination if you wanna use. Um, if you wanna learn about simple pagination, which is just a way, an easier way to do pagination that doesn't have all the individual pages, it just has a next and previous link. That's also in the documentation. So I'll have that linked in the description if you wanna learn more about pagination. Okay guys, in the next video, it's what we're gonna learn is over here on our homepage, we're gonna actually start filling in these posts so they pull from our database and they start actually working like a blog. That's coming up next, I'll see you guys in the next video.